trade show, so I need a helmet and it's good. I am here because all of you know that I'm gonna get a new Adox 2033. Uh, this was built in 2021. And a lot of people out there are talking, oh, you can't have this vehicle on the road, traveling the world because it's so new. I mean, in what world do we live? I buy a new truck and I want to travel the world. So is it possible or not? It's not a problem. It's not yeah, a problem, you it's see? It's not a problem, yeah. I think uh, uh, when you have a new truck, uh, we have a solution. And you out there, he's really hanging in there. He, I told him it's an English video and he said, no, nah, let's do it in German. But I said, no, it's important for international speaking people. To the Germans, I apologize. You speak English anyways, I hope. Yeah, check it out. If I you... am Isabella and I am from Brazil. This is Fabian and he is German. We've been overlanding the world with our home sweet home, Frank the Tank, for the past almost four years. And together with our son Matteo and our two lovely dogs, Uni from Spain and Basco from Germany, we are living even for before. Subscribe and welcome to the family. So hi guys, we are here with Michael, Michael of Deutsch. And I look funny, but we are at a trade show, so I need a helmet and it's good. And we are here with a new movie. It's not a movie like you know, a movie, but we're gonna maybe ride this in future. We need an extra vehicle and Michael was so kind to let me test this now. So let's check it out. So here we see Michael doing his first turn. Without a helmet, Michael. What are you thinking? Michael is doing this whole thing without a helmet, but I have to look like an idiot. Let's see. So, Michael, thank you so much. They made me the Bavarian in Germany. You know, of course, they sent me with beer. So, Michael, thank you. This movie is awesome. It's called M O O V I. It has power. I'm a heavy guy. And uh, yeah, so check this out. Maybe it's gonna be our new rig. Yeah, hello, and OM Technik, who is it? Markus Gruse. You all know him from my videos, a few of them. Fabian. What are you doing here? Yeah, we are here by Klaus Hühnerkopf. He's an uh, optimizer for, for high-class uh, motorhomes. I make a new uh, chassis lift for, for the new um, uh, Sprinter, uh, W907. So, so basically, you're talking about this one, right? Uh, yeah, and here uh, you see this uh, is from from uh, is a Eagle Hot tire. There's a lot of people out there ask me. Marcus, yeah, how can you go with a 2021 truck to uh, Mexico, for instance? We heard in Mexico there's bad diesel. So, Marcus, so now we are here at the Zipper filters on your trade show booth. Is that something I get in my vehicle? This is a, is a Zipper filter from, from Germany. And uh, I got this, the, the, the element is uh, you can change this one. Uh, 50 dealers around the world in all countries uh, and, and uh, all continents, you can change this one. It's very good. You're yeah. talking about this little piece? Yes. So you open it, take it out? Yes, here you see, this is a model. This is the same from your car. You see, it's bigger. Okay. Yeah. You have a big motor, yeah. Yeah, it's, a, it's a big engine. And uh, yeah, and this is a system. This this filter is uh, for for bad diesel. Sorry, so basically to explain that to the people out there, this is another diesel filter. 
So I understand my engine when I bought it had two diesel filters already, a pre-filter and another one. But this one we're going to put before all this line, yes. like straight after yes. the tank. And then you can see in this uh, glass, you could see if I have bad diesel because that's one of the biggest problems yeah. around. Yes. If you fill in bad diesel means there's water included, which is really, really bad for the engine. And this one filters it out, right? Yes. And uh, here, our Plissio Kia, um, here you see when you have water in the diesel, yeah. the water uh, go around. You see this? Ah, nice. And you can open this one and uh, you can clean the filter and the water go out and you can close this okay okay yeah and this is the same system it's a just bit, a little bigger it's, it's a little bit bigger yeah no this so, is this is only for for the new splinter and for small engines for three liter okay okay now we talked about uh, what you can do without touching the electronics in your vehicle you just save your engine from bad diesel right so the SEPA filters you recommend for everybody that buys a truck, put it in if you leave Europe and go to countries where it could be that the diesel is not such high yes, quality. Yes, but in the Unimog was a, was the first SEPA filter in uh, 1960. And today we have very good quality in, in Germany and uh, in, in North, North America. Okay. But uh, when you go outside from Europe or, or South America, Asia, whatever, Africa, you have uh, you have a problem with with the water and the diesel okay, and this is a filter is a good solution and this solution is is not from this year or from the last 10 okay. years we have uh, from uh, 1960 and uh, i think older it's better it's uh, yeah it's very good and even the unimogs have it yeah. constantly in there so i'm gonna have it too uh, we were traveling five years now. I got lucky there was no bad diesel, but in some countries you really need to fill diesel and, and then there's water in it. This saves your butt yeah, and your engine. This filter come uh, for the normal system. Yeah. It's the first filter, okay? Yeah. And this is not for sulfur, it's only for water and the diesel. Exactly. Okay? And the problem is the new motor, the new engine, and the new injectors have problems with water and the diesel and uh, have problems with more sulfur and uh, yeah, so the motor is uh, very sensitive. Uh, yes, very sensitive. So, but even Mercedes talked about it and they said, well, it's a really rugged, awesome vehicle, but be careful if you have dirty diesel in your tank, that will kill your engine. And yes. this is something we got to take care. So we have the solution right here with Marcus. So Marcus, now the question, the big question that everybody or a lot of people out there ask me, and we have videos made for my old truck, but now you say it straight out. What can we do on, let's say, Arox 2021, like I have from this year, what can we do electronically to even be able to have the diesel that has high sulfur or higher sulfur content than 15 ppm or whatever that's recommended. My solution is, um, I, I give you a, a tough pad, it's a, it's a, it's a rugged, not an iPad, not from Apple, and, uh, and I have um, a diagnostic device inside, and I sit in Germany, and uh, I go on your car uh, with a wireless LAN, and I can look in your computer, and I can delete error codes, and I can uh, write a complete new software for your ECU, for your engine. And I can repair and I can stop the, this mode and you can drive to the next um, uh, a garage or, or a work, workshop. But they said with the high sulfur, they have higher sulfur and yours need ultra low sulfur. He has the solution and the solution is what he roughly explained. It, you're gonna get an iPad or whatever, an electronical solution that you can see on your screen with an OBD it's called, I think. Yes, right? yes, yes. The OBD you can plug in your in your truck, car, Sprinter, Iveco Daily, MIN, Mercedes, big trucks, mine, Arox, 6x6, 4x4, doesn't matter. Atego, we had it in my Atego yeah. as well. So you plug it in and with the new version now, what he has, he's also developing in 2021. Uh, you can always check wherever you are, you put that in, it's a diagnostic system. So with this diagnostic system, that's how I understood, you can not only check what software you have on your truck, but you can have like, I don't know, you have a, a code that says, well, change, I don't know, what's a, what's a regular code? 
like uh, yeah, yes, yes, uh, the, the code is uh, you have a lamp. The, the lamp is on and exactly. the lamp is an error. And exactly. what is the error? That's the problem. And yeah. what does this code mean? Yeah. Uh, or the lamp, what does the lamp mean? And this thing yes. gives you a code. I can check in this system even myself. <laughs> yeah. which I'm not really handy with uh, with technical stuff but I could check what code is it and what does it do if I still don't understand I call either a mechanic that's in Mexico or whatever or if he doesn't even know what that is I call Marcus you can talk to him and he will translate what this code is and he will say listen you just do following either you erase the code Yes. That is one solution. That means that this was just, I don't know, a dirty sensor or whatever could happen to the brakes. I had that in my Atego. It said my axle, I need to exchange my axle in the back. I was totally panicking. And then I, we went to a diagnostic system and Marcus told me, listen, just relax, clean your axles and then look again. Yeah, I cleaned it and there was dirt on the sensor. So nothing really bad happened. So you don't have to waste money on a mechanic and finding out hours of hours, you know, how much, what sensor this is. So long story short, He will find, detect, and then you can find the solution. And if you need spare parts, he will send it 24 hours or 48 hours. Give him a week. And then he will send it wherever you are on this planet. I say this because I have one, but you can also do MIN, right? Yes, yes, it's not a problem. In, uh, uh, in, in Europe and uh, South America, uh, many workshops with, uh, for MIN. Okay. But the problem is in uh, North America, uh, we haven't a workshop in okay. all North America, not in Canada, not in the USA. And uh, in uh, Vancouver, I have a small workshop and uh, those people has my, my complete uh, uh, technical equipment. When you have a problem with your MIN, uh, you can send the ECU and uh, to, to Vancouver. I can look from Germany in the ECU and I make a new program. I can repair uh, remote. Okay. Yeah, it's not a problem. So we have another video out there. I'm going to link it somewhere here. When I did it uh, on my Atego, I changed it to prepare to go down to Mexico. He wasn't even there and he just sent me the computer and it was also in Canada actually. Yes, and uh, my partner in uh, Canada uh, The English is very better. <laughs> <laughs> no, but don't worry. Sorry, sorry. Don't worry, you're doing good. So how can they reach you? I think the best is when you send a message to, to your website and click on the newsletter and Fabian send you the information and uh, I call you back. That's... I think this is the best and I wish you a good time. Thank and you. A good trip and yeah. I hope, I, I honestly hope I only call him because he's a friend and I don't have any necessities, but if he's there for me. Thank yeah. you so much. Okay, bye bye. See you when we see you. Hi guys, so we are here again with Michael. Look what he did. He hooked us up with a movie. Thank you so much. He supports Living Gear 4 I love it. See you when we see you. This is unpacking the Krug style. We are still we are still at the caravan salon Düsseldorf, but what happens is I couldn't tell them to not touch it. So look what happens, technicians. So okay, will you figure it out without? You gotta push here exactly. There you go. Did it click? Yeah. It has the most wide angles. Power, but but I don't know if you should just. Okay. This is gas, and this is the retarder, the brake. Mm -hmm. So when you push that, the, the it's recharged. While you push that, the battery char recharges. Okay, let's take this beast outside then. Exactly. <laughs> Look at this little kid. I don't know, is it on? Yeah, it's on. Do you have air in the tires? I don't know. No, don't! <laughs> the little kids. <laughs> I got it. There goes Dimitri. See you in Kiev. Yeah. So guys, uh, the trade show is over. It was fun. I met a lot of nice people. This is my feedback. Uh, behind me is my crew now. I say crew, crew from Krug. Uh, we're gonna fly to the Ukraine and uh, straight from Düsseldorf we're gonna go to Kiev and then we're gonna go to Cherkasy. Uh, so stay tuned and you will see 
how they built my box or whatever. We will, we like always, we're spontaneous. But uh, the project is moving on. See you when we see you. Say hi to Isabella. Hello, I'm Ronald. I'm going to give you a tour to the 20 foot place mobile. Nice.